Cusco is so peaceful right now. We're Alex and Lindsay. We're two travelers who were exploring South America. Suddenly, a strict lockdown began in Peru, and we've been stuck ever since. Along the way, we took in a stray dog, and he hasn't left our side. It's been months, and we're still here. So we're documenting the whole experience and sharing it with you. Good morning, guys. Guess what time it is. <laughs> You're never gonna believe it. We rolled out of bed at 5 a.m. This is the earliest we've been up all of lockdown, I think. And we're going out so we can show you guys a little bit of abandoned Cusco. Now that lockdown is over, people are gonna start coming out and we wanna show you the peaceful, serene Cusco that we've seen. Uh, before all the people are out. No cars, no people, no police, just beautiful Cusco and its architecture. Let's see if we can still find that. <laughs> Cusco is so peaceful right now. Look at this street. There are just a few early morning walkers out. But really, it looks like we still have the city to ourselves. Highly suggest coming out early morning if you're in Cusco. Bring gloves and something warm. It's very cold. All right, potato. Cusco, you feel like you could walk around for hours and still not get sick of seeing everything that's here. There's so much history, interesting doors, walls, people, everything. The intricate details in the architecture, the cobblestone roads. I'm sure that when all of the people here, just tons of tourists walking around being loud, that this place loses some of its appeal. The historical streets, the just the the old feel of the place. I'm sure it's just not the same. So seeing it like this has been incredible. So we know it's hard to wake up early in the morning, but it's totally worth it. When you're here seeing Cusco and there's no other people, it's kind of magical. It's like this peaceful, magical feeling you get. And you can't replicate it anywhere else.
Guys, look at this hunk that potato found. Potato. <laughs> wow. Welcome to nearly abandoned Cusco. This is one of the coolest oh. views of Cusco Cars. that we've seen. Come on, come on, come on. Wow, look at this view. Viva El Peru. All right, guys, that's about all we have for today for abandoned Cusco. People are starting to come out into the streets because the quarantena is over and we're hungry. So let's go find some food. <laughs> Where should we go? Let us know. And if you're wondering why I'm in a different outfit, it's still the same day, but I was getting really cold and this poncho is a lot warmer and it's pretty cool too. Just got this poncho the other day. How cool and is this? It's reversible. Yeah. Woo! It's one of the coolest ponchos we've seen yet. So I had to try it out. <laughs> if you go to Instagram, you'll see some photos of Lindsay wearing this. The Instagram is Alexander underscore travel bum. And mine is Lindsay underscore travel bum. So cool. I like these little details. Look how they have an alcohol bottle here and they put it on some tape or some rope so nobody can take it, I guess. Who <laughs> and it's steals just alcohol sitting on... nowadays? <laughs> I know. Hot commodity alcohol. <laughs> so now we're walking down a bunch of streets that we have never been on. And that's something that's. I always love doing that, but in Cusco, it's just something special because everywhere you go, it's beautiful. Alright, let's go into the San Pedro market and get a bunch of fruits and vegetables. We're hopefully going to juice later because we found the owner of a restaurant that's going to let us use his juicer. So, that's awesome. So this is going to be really cool. We are going to be making ahi de gallina with the owner of Organica and Rakula and he has one other restaurant as well. So we'll show you guys how to make ahi de gallina. We're also going to be making some juices. We brought a ton of fresh organic produce and we're going to make a three day juice cleanse. Oh, it's here. So okay. first here. Water is coming, so now we are going to open the We get to have this whole kitchen to cook our meal. <laughs> we are going to put some music. So we're getting a behind the scenes look at a very popular restaurant in Cusco. What tourist gets to stand here? Just us. You are going to cook both. So we're making ahi de gallina. This is the ahi, which is made with uh, here these ahi, ahi peppers. peppers, and gallina is the chicken, and then it comes with papas, potatoes, garlic, onion. So this is the sauce right here, and then they're bringing some rice. So William is going to show us the ropes on how to make this dish because we don't know how. So it looks like it could be fairly easy. There's not that many ingredients, so we'll show you guys. All right, cooking is not complete without the beautiful hairnet. <laughs> don't want any hair in our food. Okay. 
And then Alex decided he can be without his lovely hat, so now it looks like he has white hair poofing out of the side. I look like George Washington. <laughs> you totally do. <laughs> So first step, we have to boil the potatoes. So I'm gonna plop these in here. All right, let's crank up the heat. So we're cutting up the chicken. We're using the chicken breast bone to add flavor. All right, here it goes. We're gonna boil the chicken. Look how fast the chicken is cooking in here because the flame is so hot and so big. We've never seen anything the like chicken, this at home. The chicken, I just plopped it in and it's already starting to cook and become white. Only a few minutes and you can cook a chicken breast. So many in tomorrow. Good boy. <laughs> Next for the ahi peppers. You ah. want the chilies to be wrinkly. Yeah, more flavor. And also it's maduro, you know. See, I would have never known that. I would have thought this was good, but he said the more wrinkly, the better. Wow. Just cut here and uh -huh. put it right here. Like this. Okay. Oh. This is like the ba basic, basic, right? Basic. Yeah. It's pepper. Basic. It's also used for the sauce for papa la huancaina, okay, yeah. right? For ocopas, yeah. for ocopas, for lomo saltado. Also we use for causa, for causa, causita. A little bit more. Just Here's all the ahi peppers. We just de-seeded them and cut them up. And he was saying that normally in a restaurant they might grab like a few to make ahi de gallina, but we're gonna use all of these so we're gonna get the real flavor in there. Mm -hmm. Wow. Más fuerte son. <laughs> So for those of you who uh, didn't know this trick, a great way to peel garlic is to just smash it with the knife. So there's a new trick we're learning today. Garlic, onion, ahi. Yeah. Don't your hands burn? <laughs> so you know if the potato's ready, if it breaks a little bit when you grab it. See? I'm a little slower. Looks like all the cutting is done, and now we're gonna do some cooking. So I think we're gonna make the sauce. Smells so good. Ah, uh, he has a very distinct smell and it's so amazing. A little bit of spiciness because it's a pepper, so you feel it in your throat, even in the air. <coughs> right now we're just shredding the chicken and it actually kind of breaks in a way like an onion so you don't really have to force it chicken water how how you can cook all right now we're gonna make the ahi sauce which you make in a blender so we're taking the cooked ahi peppers putting them in here to start all right now the onion and garlic mix mm. mm -hmm. todo yeah. Uh, last, the chicken broth from when we cooked the chicken breasts and the breastplate. Wow. Nice time. Weirdest smoothie I've ever made. <laughs> and now we're going to strain it into this. So look at all the skin and all the particles that are left there. You can actually eat that too. So some recipes call for soda crackers. Yeah. So it's more for like a texture, thickness, yeah, or yeah. for mm -hmm. sodium. Or yeah. To make more, to give more thick texture. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna do 
the soda crackers and chicken broth in there, in this blender. And then some milk. How much? More, more, more. More, 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 yeah. more. The sauce is finito. Done. Para que salga calientito. So typically this dish comes with olives on it, but Lindsay and I both don't like olives, so it's not gonna look as perfect with them, but... You get the idea though. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we get the whole restaurant to ourselves. <laughs> After all that hard work, Probably about two hours worth of cooking. We have the table set and we're about to eat and we're gonna give Mr. Potato Head a little dish too. So this is my ahi de gallina, which is more of a traditional way of doing it. But back at the shop, they were making some kind of rice noodle mix. And so that's what they're having today. And one for potato. You better eat that. <laughs> You, like, you, you should like a potato. Yeah. Come on. Alright guys. Wow. It's perfect. It's like in a creamy, ahi, yellow sauce. A little bit of spice, but not too much. It's spicy, but not really in like a hot way. Mm -hmm. But in a flavorful like spices. way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright guys, now we're gonna do a little bit of our juicing. <laughs> we're doing a juice cleanse. Lindsay's been talking about this for a little while. And look at this. This is gonna be the green one. Chard or colored greens, spinach, celery, apples, lime or lemon, ginger, cucumber. All right, it's been a wonderful day. We've been working hard in the kitchen. We cooked ahi de gallina, and then we worked on making our juices for our juice cleanse. Look at these. Product. We have three different types here. A red one with what? Beet. Beets. Beetroot. Tons of healthy things. <laughs> Carrots. Like the rest. Carrots. What else? Cucumber. The green one with spinach, kale, collard greens, broccoli, celery, everything that you can think of that's green because they have it in Peru. No, 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 no. Are you Peru, sure? No. You helped us! <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to drink one of <laughs> He's them. like, it wasn't Hey guys, thanks for watching. So, we're not doing Q&A today, but we do have a question for you. We need your help. So, we have this grand idea of renting a vehicle. Ideally a van, maybe a car, whatever we can find. But, we need your guys' help. <laughs> So we want to do a road trip now in Peru, or van life in Peru if we can. So if you have a car, a van, if you know of anybody who does, if you know of a company who might be willing to work with us. In Cusco. In Cusco, because some are everywhere that we've reached out to, they're all very expensive right now. And so we're just looking at some options and we thought we would ask you guys if you have any good options for us. You guys always come through for us, so we figured we would ask. And it should make for some pretty interesting videos if we can pull this off. We're hoping to do a vehicle for a month and just drive around all of Peru and see sights and be free. Yeah, so we're looking for any car really, but a van would be <laughs> amazing. That way we could camp out and that kind of thing. Uh, so yeah, I think that's all the info we have for today. Let us know in the comments or DM us, message us, email, message us, email us if you know of anybody uh, and you can help us out. All right. Thank you so much, guys. And make sure to like this video. It helps us out a lot. And leave a comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already and look forward to a road trip of Peru. Hopefully we can do that. And we'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, we can only do so much on YouTube and we only put out a video every two or three days. So if you want more, if you want daily stuff, you should head to Instagram, find us at Alexander Travel Bum, and that's where you'll find daily stories and photos about our travels.
Hey, thanks for making it all the way through this video. If you want to watch more, click one of these videos. Subscribe because I'm traveling all around the world and I'm sharing the whole thing with you. Thanks.